Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by work done. You should then be able to calculate work done by a force acting on an object. Now the idea of work done can seem a little bit tricky, but it's not as difficult as it looks. Let's start by looking at the definition. Work is done whenever energy is transferred from one store to another. Now we normally see this happening in two different cases. Mechanical work involves using a force to move an object, and we're going to be looking at that in this video. Electrical work involves a current transferring energy, and we'll be seeing that in a later topic. In this video, we're looking at mechanical work, so let's start by looking at an example. This shows a dog pulling a sledge. Now the dog's applying a force to the sledge, and that force is causing the sledge to move along the ground. So if we look at the energy transfers taking place, we can see that the chemical energy store in the dog is being transferred to the kinetic energy store in the moving sledge. However, the force of friction is now acting between the sledge and the ground. So some of the kinetic energy store is transferred to the thermal energy store in the sledge runners and in the ground. So as you can see, we've got energy transfers taking place here between different stores, and that means that work is being done. Looking at this example, we can see that the dog is applying a force of 50 newtons and the sledge is moving a distance of 3 meters. So how do we calculate the work done? Well, we use this equation. Work done in joules equals the force in newtons multiplied by the distance in meters. Now, we're going to be seeing this equation in more detail when we look at forces in later videos. I should point out that you need to learn this equation. It's not given in the exam. So the force is 50 newtons and the distance is 3 meters. Multiplying these numbers gives us a total work done of 150 joules. This tells us that a total of 150 joules of energy was transferred from the chemical energy store in the dog to the kinetic energy store of the sledge and the thermal energy stores of the sledge runners and of the ground. So can you see that work done is actually a fairly straightforward idea? Let's look at another example. This shows a car traveling at 20 meters per second. The driver applies the brakes and the car comes to a stop. We're gonna calculate the work done here, but first we need to look at what happens when a car brakes. Now remember that a car that's moving has a kinetic energy store, just like any moving object. So when the driver presses on the brakes, the brake presses against the wheel of the car. This creates friction between the brake and the wheel. At this point, the kinetic energy store of the car is transferred to the thermal energy store in the brakes. That means that the temperature of the brakes increases and the car slows down and stops. So we've transferred energy from the kinetic energy store of the car to the thermal energy store of the brakes. That means that we've done work. Take a look at this question. During braking, a force of 2000 newtons is applied to the brakes of a car. The car takes 20 meters to come to a stop. Calculate the work done. Pause the video and try this question yourself. Okay, here's the equation that you need. Work done equals the force multiplied by the distance. In this case, the force is 2000 newtons and the distance is 20 meters. Multiplying 2000 by 20 gives us a work done of 40,000 joules, and that's our final answer. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on calculating work done in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe what's meant by work done. You should then be able to calculate work done by a force acting on an object.